My name's Wendy Picard Young. I'm the creative director of the Branch Jewellery. Um, we launched 10 years ago and we specialise in wooden jewellery mixed with different materials. I was really fortunate to spend most of my 20s travelling and whilst I was in Africa I commissioned some wood carvers in a small village in Malawi to make me some wooden bangles. I fell in love with them and decided like, this is what I want to do, I want to work with wood. So I managed to get a collection together and um, had a friend that was living in Bali in Indonesia and he said, look, if you want to work with wood, you need to come here, they're really famous for it. So I went over there with a bag of drawings and he set me up and helped me find a couple of factories and managed to produce the first collection. Um, and from that, I was recognised by the British Fashion Council and they sponsored me to show at London Fashion Week. And from there, it kind of took off and all of a sudden I was in business. It had started very small and all of a sudden I had this business and it was kind of all up and running. A lot of the inspiration for my jewellery comes from my travels, um, particularly for Africa, where I saw a lot of kind of traditional African jewellery. So I take a lot of kind of inspiration from ethnic jewellery and tribal jewellery, um, especially something like this piece here, um, which is our long horn earring. Um, this really was, you know, I wanted a really get this tribal statement over, um, you know, but kind of making it look very sleek also. Now I've made jewellery since I was a child. I was constantly making things from buttons and beading them together and though I didn't know at the time what I was going to do, I guess it was always going to go in that direction, you know, I can't imagine doing anything else. I've always, you know, been into jewellery, but no, I didn't study at all, I was completely self-taught. People that buy jewellery range from anything from 25 up to 70. So we're quite fortunate that we're not really confined to one age aspect or, you know, one type of person, as it were. I think that generally, you know, anyone that buys our jewellery has a real appreciation for kind of chic, clean sophistication, you know, clean lines and, you know, simple, beautiful handmade products. We're really fortunate we get an amazing amount of press and we get featured a lot in magazines kind of all over the world and I think, you know, the press know us for what we do now and if they want that, they'll come to us. Um, we don't have a PR company, we just do it all ourselves and press is so important for the brand. I mean, it just, it builds awareness of the brand. The same with celebrity endorsement. Um, you know, we have great people like Gwyneth Paltrow wearing our jewellery and Claudia Schiffer is a great fan and, you know, just having something photographed on someone like that it really pushes it forward and, you know, it's it's invaluable, really. You know, I set myself these few personal goals and one of them was to sell my jewellery in Harvey Nichols and one of them was to have my jewellery featured in Vogue. And, you know, within the first couple of years, I'd achieved that. And that was such an amazing achievement for myself, you know. So I'd say that was, for me, one of the greatest moments. Um, another one that springs to mind is when we got our first order from Browns, the fashion store Browns. I mean, it's such an iconic, amazing store. You know, when they came to us to order, it was like, wow, this is it. You know, we're really in business now. And it really pushed us forward. So it's it's small things like that along the way that have, you know, that I really remember. I mean, there's been so many other things. But as I say, a lot of them are just, it's something I get a personal buzz from. Next year, we're going to be focusing on trade shows in New York, um, which we have dabbled a little with in the past, but we really want to kind of take try and take on the American market. Um, and just generally growing the business. I mean, at the moment, the the, econ the economy crisis of the last five years seems to be lifting. Everything seems to be much more positive at the moment. So for a person with a small business, once again, I'm feeling really positive and, you know, really ready to push it forward. Um, and yeah, grow and take over the world in a small way. <laughs>